This is what is left of the fruit market at the popular Ikosi Keitu exes. Traders here are counting their losses hours after what they described as a massive invasion by policemen, leading to several hours of shooting. Although they are from different tribes, they speak in one voice over what they call an attempt by local authorities to take over the market, which has been in existence for over 40 years. We just saw a um, mopo, like 100, and um, one bulldozer. They just come this morning, and they, come, uh, they started you know, destroy all our shed. And we came there, we, we meet them and say, what is happening? They don't tell us anything. They just destroy everywhere inside the market. There are, we are many here. Anybody that is suffering, if you can be able to walk into this market, they will feel the child, even feed the husband. Many of our husbands have returned, returned them. But because of this market, we don't know the pay. Police authorities, however, claim the men who accompanied the demolition team were on legitimate duty after responding to a request from the council chairman over an approved demolition. The traders had before now raised an alarm over the impending demolition. They said they want to use this place for an estate, which we don't believe is right. The market belongs to the government, really. So and even if they have to renovate it, we think, and that is the right thing to do, that they should call, come to us or call us, that they want to renovate this market. Then we dialogue. All attempts by Channels Television to get the reaction of the council chairman proved abortive as he declined to give any comments. With the market now demolished, all eyes will be on the authorities to see what becomes of the once busy fruit and vegetables market.